Welcome to the second week of December. We're already in two weeks of December. That's just crazy. This week I want to ask you a question. Now we've done a lot of stuff on motivating and having fun, but this week we're going to hit hard because we're coming into 2008. I want to ask you the question, who is responsible for your success? Who is responsible for your success? Now, most of us will say something like, it's myself. I'm responsible for everything. I, I, I'm in total control of everything I do. I'm responsible for everything. So why are we so quick to blame others or other situations for our lack of execution or action? And the reason I ask this is I'm blessed to sit down with a lot of people. And I, I goal set and we, we coach and we do a lot of things. And a lot of people will tell me when I ask them the question, what are your obstacles stopping you to get you to the highest level? To get you to the peak performer I know you can be? I hear things a lot of the times, and multiple times I'll hear things like my family. The things that have happened in my past and present things that are happening in my family make me who I am right now, or stopping me from doing things how I want to be, or holding me back, or better yet, the market is holding me back. The market's different than it was, I just don't know how to change. Help me, Dan, change. And I'm thinking, the market's not holding you back, or the things that you were doing to be successful before isn't the difference, or better yet, time. I just don't have enough of it. I don't know where it goes. What, where's the time going the day from all the things I'm running around and doing? Or just plain things that are out of my control. There's so much that happens that out of my control, I just don't know what to do. And I can't get back to the person I want to be on the peak performance. Let me tell you this. You are in control of your thoughts and your attitude. What you do to manage your, and control those is completely up to you. Now you can keep saying, that's how I am. Well, you know, that's me, and I'm just an impatient person, and that's, that's just me. Or you can realize that those negative behaviors you keep confirming in yourself. Those actions that you read and you're just confirming your negative behavior by saying, that's just me. Or it's out of my control. Now, either you can realize that and start your path to change, or you can keep saying the same thing and reinforcing all the negative actions that you are doing. The path to change is not an easy one. Now, your past affects your future only on how you allow it. Listen, we all have horrific stories. We all have horrific stories about our past and things that's happened. Some of us have horrific stories about our families, our present and our past, that really are intergrained in who we are. And we think we are that way because of those things that have happened in our family or those things that are present in our family. They're all horrific stories of how you got to where you are currently right now about the past. But that's not why you are who you are. You choose to be the person you are right now on how things affect your choice. They're your choice. How that affects you is your choice. You're exactly where you want to be today in your business and personal life because you choose to be there. Not anybody else has put you there. Put you there. The reason you stay in your box sometime is your choice. Your success is determined on your choice to change. How you change will determine your success on how to get the path to take all those other things out of your life. Napoleon Hill said it best in his book, Think and Grow Rich. No man will be willing to make a change until he is ready. Now, all those things you could keep using, all those things you could keep going back to, all those things you could keep saying, that's just me, but no man will be willing to make a change until he's ready. And you can keep blaming all the other things for the lack of whatever it is you see success is, or you can change. So with that said, you can still say, that's just how I am, or that's just me, or be ready to make a change this week. Take this, feel it, have fun and make dreams come true.